The kingfish, yeah. Wow. Is that your first? Oh, no, no. I've been catching oh. uh, quite a few here. Yeah. But I haven't caught He must one. be a good fisherman, is he? <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to another Kingfish episode. In this episode, we're going to be targeting Kingfish in our harbors. We're here at the beautiful Taranga Harbor today. Check this out, it's awesome. Summertime is the best time to catch Kingfish here. Quite a lot of Kingfish in this harbor and you know other harbors around the country. In this episode, we want to give you a few tips and tricks on how to target those Kingfish in our harbors over summertime. Stick around if you're interested in catching kingfish, guys. Kingfish come into the harbor into the shallow waters to look for food, which is quite plentiful during summer. Now the best time to find those kingies in harbors is usually at low tide. At low tide, most of the water recedes into the channels and the fish will be much more concentrated. They kind of use those channels like highways. They cruise up and down those channels and with the incoming tide, they'll kind of spread out and hunt bait fish in the shallows as well. So you can target kingfish at low tide in the channels, which for me works the best usually. But you can also target them at high tide if you wait around in the shallow flats maybe waist deep water and you look for stingrays. Kingfish are known to follow stingrays around. They're called riders, so they're riding on top of the stingrays, looking for food and little bait fish that the stingray will steer up when they swim around the shallows. Often baby flounder or other little bait fish, even big kingfish and sometimes even groups of kingfish will follow stingrays around and as soon as something little bait fish shoots off, they will shoot out and grab those bait fish. So the way to target them in this way would be to wait around at high tide or at an incoming tide in the shallow water looking for those stingrays and then cast some lures at them and retrieve them really fast. Soft baits work well, stick baits work well in this situation and even some people target them with fly rods. But in this video we will focus on fishing the harbor at low tide and fishing the edge of the channel. So this is my personal uh, preference and I had most success doing that. At the moment we have still an outgoing tide there and we're waiting for the tide to recede so that we can walk straight up to the channel marker. And this is usually the best time which also coincides with a best fishing times we predict at fishingreminder.com. Usually the best fishing times, either major or minor time, is around low tide. This is because the fishing times and the tide times, they all follow the same natural rhythm of the moon and the sun. So if you look at the best fishing times and you look at those days where the either major or minor time is just around low tide, this will be the best time to head out and target kingfish. Even better if those days where the major or minor time is around low tide also are around sunset or sunrise times like early morning or late afternoon. Those will be the best days to go out there at low tide during those major or minor times and uh, targeting kingfish. Oh, there was a big splash on the water too far away. Close and far and everywhere. Now, of course, not only kingfish uh, will be around in those channels, also snapper. If you want to target kingfish, the best weight is always a live bait. But it doesn't have to be a live bait like we show you in this video. We caught a big kingfish just on a pilchard. If kingfish are hungry and uh, they cruise up and down those channels, you can catch them on dead bait as well. Catching a kingfish is not easy. You have to spend a lot of time and effort being out there targeting them. and. Uh, there's also a good dose of luck involved catching one. 
So it is never easy, but catching a kingfish is something special. If you get a big one, you will remember that for the rest of your life. And by fishing at the right time and at the right location, you definitely increase your chances a lot. Right, it's getting close to low tide now, and this is the best time to target kingfish. You can see the flats behind me, and it's just a little bit of a walk from here to knee deep water or so to get right to the edge of the channel behind me. This is the place where you want to target kingfish in harbors, low tide, first bit of the incoming tide, uh, right at the edge of the channel. Now one thing uh, quite a few people usually think is that you have to cast very far to catch those kingfish, but actually once the tide is out the channels are very narrow and kingfish usually don't cruise around in the middle of the channel at the deepest part. Sometimes they do of course, there's no like 100% rule to that, but most fish from my experience will be cruising along the edges of the channel rather than right in the middle. That's a bit windy today, but that shouldn't deter us to uh, head out there and try a bit of fishing today. Let's see how we go on with it. So we're going to be using all those tips and tricks that I have just talked about. The low tide and the major fishing time, they coincide and low tide will be in the evening as well. So good time for us to target some kingies. And we will be fishing with dead bait today, so we'll see what happens. I don't really expect to catch a kingfish because you can never expect that, but I do hope so. So let's see how we get on with it. Snapper, you went for the pill chat, eh? It's just so difficult to fish here right now with that wind. You can't cast into this wind, uh, can't get a distance, I can't really do anything here. Can't put my stuff onto the ground, <laughs> it's all wet and muddy. Oh, God, it's tough. It's just tough fishing right now, yeah, as expected. You look really be funny this time. But not not really like usual. <laughs> Ray, yeah?
Traditionally, birds got head shaped. Oh my god! Which is a bit unusual for a stinger. It was like the other day when I caught that stingray there. It uh, <laughs> get pretty heavy to catch those. They don't really give up easily, and then really, really heavy. Oh. It's like a huge blanket, huh? Oh. Eventually. Oh, it's a good exercise for tonight. <laughs> Already. Must be really big even, one. I can't even see him. Can you? No. Must be a fairly big stinger because mm. it's just not. It's just super heavy. <laughs> Already. Mm. Problem is getting him over this channel edge there again. Mm. <laughs> well, I let you be alone here all night, all night long. That's good. It's coming there. Oh, it's kingfish. Kingfish. Oh my god, it's kingfish. Oh, you've done it. Great. Yeah, let's go, kingfish. Oh, yeah. Finally. Oh, Mark, you've done it. Good job. My line is <laughs> All right, I, I thought I had a stingray on there and check out this huge kingy. That's Whoa. probably at least uh, a meter long, I think. Let's see. Maybe even a little bit over a meter. He gave me a fight on that uh, self car. Yeah, it was over 10 minutes. First, I thought it was a, a stingray. But uh, I felt the head shake, so I thought it couldn't be a stingray. And then uh, I thought it was a shark. 
but a shark would have bitten through the line and then yeah we ended up with this really beautiful uh, kingy here look at this man awesome that's what oh. we came for eh? yep. yeah <laughs> i thought i thought it was a, a, a i thought it was a ray too yeah, yeah, yeah. we were like watching you the whole time yeah because uh <laughs> Because it came up here and I thought, but I felt the head shakes the whole time and I thought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it splash and I still thought it was a ray. Yeah, we were. Yeah, me too, the whole time. I, I lost up a big until snapper here. before, did you see that? You got one? No, I lost it. I got oh, it right one? up and out snap about that. <gasps> oh. hey, what'd you catch that on? I uh, just spilled it. <laughs> yeah, half a bird shot. That's all I've been using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half a <laughs> Wow, man. Yeah, awesome, eh? I'm totally stoked with that kingfish here in the surf caster. It's actually the first time I caught one on a surf cast, so not on a stick bait or something like that, just on a half pilchard, uh, a dead bait, which is quite kind of unusual for kingfish, you know. And then this kingfish is so fat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. Catching kingfish from the shore is something very special. It's an experience you won't forget. Land-based fishing is definitely where it's at. So if you have caught a kingfish uh, from the shore based on our tips and tricks here, please let us know in the comments down below what you think and how you did it. Uh, you know, maybe you got some uh, additional tips that you would like to share. So you don't be afraid, leave a comment down there and give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video guys cheers cut up the and then, uh, yeah. you can have some you want a bag yeah. i'll give you a bag